Hi, it's Alexander from Tilda. In this video, I'll tell you about an element fading in from transparency on scroll. The effect looks something like this. First off, if you're not already signed up for Tilda, I recommend that you go ahead and do so. You'll be able to activate a two week free trial period, which will open up all of Tilda's features. After signing up, we go straight into the Tilda dashboard. Our first step is to create a website and give it a name. Then you have to create a new web page. Here you have the opportunity to choose from a series of categorized templates or start from scratch. Next, we use an intuitive interface to add blocks one by one, whether it's one of our over 500 pre-designed blocks or zero block that allows you to create your own unique design. Once you've edited the page, you need to publish it by assigning it a URL address. You can then share the link with your colleagues, friends, or customers. Back to our effect. First, I'll copy the template ID and paste it into my tilde dashboard. To do this, I need to create a new page, scroll down the templates, and click Enter Template ID at the very bottom. I insert the number, and it's done. The template with the animation is now added to my project. As you can see, there are two zero blocks. One is configured for laptops and desktops, and the other one for mobile versions. Let's go into the zero block editor and see how everything works. First, let's pay attention to the artboard settings. The height of the artboard is 1850 pixels. That is important for the effect to work when you scroll. Now let's see how the layers are organized. I press Ctrl L and open the layers panel. As we can see, there is a full phrase and the animation works like this. So let's look at how the step-by-step -step animation is set up. Text layer number one, good design, works like this. Event is set as on scroll, which means that the animation we created will occur when you scroll down the page. Step one has a distance of zero pixels and no other settings. Step two shows that the text layer is scrolled over a distance of 1,200 pixels. And as a tricky part, it has a fix parameter, which fixes the element on a certain part of the page. Position fixing. The fixing is triggered, start trigger, on window center. After 1,200 pixels, the movement stops and fixing is removed. The remaining text elements have similar settings. And the following text boxes appear out of transparency when you scroll. Event is on scroll, start trigger is on window center, and trigger offset is absent. The first step makes the element transparent. We substitute the start by specifying a distance of zero pixels and reducing opacity to 0%. So instead of a fully fledged starting step, we'll show step one then nothing changes for the next 100 pixels of scroll. The text is still transparent and doesn't appear. But the next 300 pixels brings a text from zero opacity to an opacity of 100%, so the text appears. Then nothing changes for 800 pixels, and the last fifth step has the fixation effect turned off. As you might guess, all the previous steps were fixed. The text layer follows the exact same pattern. Transparency one fixed, nothing happens for 300 pixels. That's necessary for the first word to have time to go through its motion sequences. In the next 300 pixels, the word fades in and is also fixed. The element remains fixed for 600 pixels of scroll, and then it eventually detached and scrolls with the page. The rest of the text elements work exactly the same way. Also, as you may have noticed, we have an arrow pointing down which disappears when you scroll. It works like this. We have a round shape on top of the arrow, and the first step of that animation is marked at 0% opacity. In the second step, after a scroll of 30 pixels, our circle appears and covers the arrow. Let's close the edited zero block, publish the page, and take a look at this effect. Thank you for choosing Tilda. Use animation in your projects.